Go to Luke chapter 19, Luke chapter 19, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was uh, the chief among the publicans, in other words, he was a tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, but uh, and could not for the press. In other words, there was a crowd there, and he, he couldn't get to him because he was little of stature. So he was a little man, and he wanted to see the Lord Jesus Christ. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was uh, gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. You see, there are certain people and they think that, well, we're not sinners. But I'm here to tell you, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That is the word of God. That's what God says. So we're all guilty of sin before the Lord, but we need forgiveness for those sins. And that's why I'm here again this afternoon. I want you to know the forgiveness for your sins. And how is it possible to have forgiveness for your sins? Through the once for all sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross. You see, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. What you need to do is this. Come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So we need to understand first up that we're sinners and that we cannot save ourselves. The only way of salvation is through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God from heaven, who came down from heaven to die upon the cross. So is it okay to be gay? Are you from surface? Sorry? Is it okay? No, I'm not. Oh, but I, I, I have preached at surfers though. Yeah. So, is it okay to be gay? It's sin in the sight of the Lord. It's the same as fornication and adultery. All these things are all sin in the sight of the Lord. As I said, and when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. You and I have to realize we're lost in the sight of the Lord. We're dead spiritually as far as God is concerned. We're blind spiritually as well. But God wants to make us alive in Christ. God wants to give us the new birth. And this is so essential. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And we need to have that new birth. Without that new birth, we are going down to hell. We cannot make it any plainer than that. It's either heaven or hell. What will it be for you? It's all determined by what you do with the Son of God. He'll either be your saviour or he'll have to be your judge. But we see here that for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. We've got to realise we're lost in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord Jesus Christ came to rescue you, my friend. He came to forgive you of all of your sins so that you would be in heaven for all eternity. There's no need to go down to hell, my friend. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind, agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as they heard these things, uh, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh or near to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of God should appear um, uh, immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return, and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens uh, hated him and sent a message after him, 
saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. I wonder, is that your attitude? You will not have this man, the Lord Jesus Christ, to reign over you. And it came to pass that when he was uh, returned, having received the kingdom, uh, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, and uh, or to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. How are you? Good. Um, is there a reason why you're in the bus? No, thank you. Is there a reason why you're hanging around a school at this time of day? It's so that I reach more people. I don't think we want to be reached. Don't want to be reached? I don't, I don't think this is probably the appropriate venue. So, so that means you're making a decision for all of these children here, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that the children want to be involved in any of your decisions. Yeah. Do you understand that by doing this, Yeah. it's strange and, and odd? Yeah. Well, the thing is, like I said, I want to reach as many people as possible in one hit. Uh, the Lord said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So that's what I'm seeking to do. But, um, you know, this is why I'm here at the, I, this particular I honestly time. don't think it's an appropriate place for you right now. Yeah. And and, and regardless of what has been written, yeah. I, I don't think these children need to be exposed to your, your belief system. When they haven't asked, they haven't projected to you their belief system. No. They're not no. giving you a lecture about how to live your life. No, I that's don't think correct. it's appropriate mm -hmm. for you to be here right now. Well, the reason I'm doing this is because there's only one way of salvation. No, there isn't. That's what the Bible says. That's what God says. Well, I, look, you understand that this is not a church. This is not a place of worship. I realise that. And no yeah. one has invited you to come down, down here yeah, to I realize. preach at these children. Yeah, and I that's what it that. is. It's preaching. Yes, that's right. So I, please yeah, do not do is. that here. There is a church. Why? People yeah. are invited to that and people make their decisions. And you're not yeah. allowing children to have these decisions. You're forcing yourself upon them. There's well, a big I'm, difference. I'm, I'm giving them the option to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be in heaven. But if they want to be in hell, it's up to them. No, but I'm no, not no happy wanting. about that. There is you know no I mean? wanting. You're not allowing the children to choose to whether they want to be exposed to your opinion. You're just talking yeah. at them. And that's yes. not fair. Is it really my opinion or is it the word of God? I'm seeking to preach the word of God. Yeah, and you so have, really you, I'm God sure you have a place of worship to do that. But at this point yes, in time, that, that you're not in that place of worship. I'm yeah, not advocating any religious faith to you. I'm not telling no, you no. that whatever you're doing is incorrect yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of your belief system at all. But yeah. I do not think ethically and morally yeah. that what you're doing is sound at this point in time. See, these children may not have ever heard this message before. That's what sort of yeah, concerns me. And that's me. wonderful because they're not you know your I mean? children. Yes, that's correct. And yeah. you, have, you oh, are yeah. not responsible for them. I believe that I am because no, you're not. I'm seeking to go you're in. Not, you're not their guardian. Yeah. No, that, that's and correct. I'm, sure I'm not that regarding If we yeah. have to call the police, they yeah. will support me on that. So you're a, um, a parent? I'm one of the administrators of this school. Okay. And yeah. I'm advising you yeah. that the course that you're taking is very inappropriate at this point in time. And I'm yeah. kindly asking you to cease yeah. and move on. I, if you yeah. went and preached down at the bridge, I do not care. Because you're no longer yeah. anywhere well, near school grounds. Well, that, yeah, well, the people won't hear from there, will they? It's too far away. Well, to there, there are lots of people who will be able to listen to you if you went to the yeah. shopping centre. Oh, yeah, I realise that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I am grateful for your passion. I really yeah. appreciate yeah. the fact that you've come here to do something that you believe and have strong convictions in, but it is yeah. not a poor, it's, it's a very poor judgment. Please yeah. do not continue. And can you please move on? I'll just be a couple of minutes, all right? No, no. This, it's not a negotiation. I'd rather not yeah. call the police to have you removed. Well, there's no need to call the police, really. I mean, well, I, I know, hope not, no. because you know. that's the last thing I want to do. I'm trying to talk to yeah. you respectfully. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, I have got a job to do. I mean, I, it's, you know. And we've been through this. I don't think it's wise for the children. I don't yeah. think it's in your best interest right now. And I do not yeah. think that these children need to hear you because they have parents yeah. and you're not their guardian. No, I, I realise that. I'm un, I understand all And the that. last thing yeah. I want is these children to then tell their parents as they're picked up yeah. that you're here yeah. and, and then I have to try and protect you from angry parents. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. That when yeah, if, I, if I, I do understand from that point of view. Yeah. About um, what you're doing now. Yeah. Um, there's very little I can do to stop them from interacting with you as a member of the public. Yeah, yeah. I because understand. I'm here to look after the children, not you. Yeah, yeah. I understand from that point of view. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, then I'll stop now. Thank you so yeah. much. That's I appreciate okay. that. Yeah, I'm not here to you know cause a fuss or anything i don't yeah. want to but if know, i, I have had a phone call from and from um staff to support and i've had upset children because they don't want yeah. not all every child wants to hear this message regardless of your your, your of, of what you believe is right or wrong yeah, yeah. and we're as as humans we're allowed to make our own follies or choices yes, that is and, and correct. we need yeah. to respect others to do that yeah that is correct but i just want to make it available for them that's all i'm after you know what i mean and there are better ways so, of doing you know. that we have um churches that have outreach yeah. programs that come and use this hall oh, um, yeah. we open yeah. that up and we let we yeah. let that happen but we never okay. make the mm. kids attend and there's the difference yeah. because yeah. The, the community yeah. has a choice yeah i understand that yeah. so i really appreciate yeah. if you can move on and, and and not preach at the children okay then i'll, I'll stop preaching then all right thank thanks you for so your talk much. yeah Yeah, thanks. Same to you. Oh, yeah. right. Take care. Yeah. Oh, thank Something you. Read. Thank you. Something to read. Oh, okay. Like something to read? Something to read? Oh, thank you. You like something to read? Yeah. Thank you. Like something to read, girls? Do you know? Like something to read? Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's right.